Is there any additions or uh, amendments to the agenda? Not that I know of any. Not that Do I you know have any? No. Let me share this with you. Sure. So I'll make a motion to accept the agenda as written. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, so we'll open with Mass Electric, 399 First Parish Road. Oh, there it is. Good evening. Good evening. I just got to read this spiel. On May 21st, 2018, during the 615 meeting at the Town Hall, the Central Conservation Commission will act on the request of Mass Electric Company for the termination of applicability of the Massachusetts Wetlands Protection Act and the Citroen Wetlands Bylaw to install and replace one of the two wooden utility structures with steel structures on property located at 399 First Parish Road, Situate. Abutters and other interested parties are invited to attend. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Colin Duncan. I'm with TRC, uh, representing uh, Mass Electric. And uh, this is uh, a relatively straightforward uh, request for determination for uh, maintenance um, and uh, the replacement of two poles that are located in the buffer zone uh, within the uh, existing electrical right-of-way. Um, there are, um, so the two, the two projects, uh, the, the, the one part is uh, to replace uh, what they call shield wire, which is a wire that they attach to the tops of the poles uh, along the entire transmission system to protect it from electrical strikes, lightning strikes, and so forth. Um, and that requires access to the... Uh, to all the poles uh, with equipment to get materials uh, and men uh, and workers up to the top uh, to do that work. Um, and that is a maintenance project under the provisions of the Wetlands Protection Act and would not normally require a filing. Um, however, because we're also under the situate um, bylaw, uh, we're, we're uh, presenting the project under that uh, tonight. And then uh, the second part is to replace two poles located in the buffer zone with larger uh, poles to support the, the system. Um, and uh, those uh, are uh, steel ca uh, caisson uh, uh, installations with a, a foundation. Uh, and there'll also be some geotechnical uh, probes to determine uh, any other conditions that are necessary to, uh, to install those uh, two poles uh, along the right-of-way um, to support the structures. So uh, overall, there are, uh, with the shield wire ins installation, it would be necessary to cross uh, the six wetlands as indicated in our uh, submittal letter. Uh, those will all be done with uh, temporary crossing measures, uh, either a uh, uh, swamp mat type uh, arrangement that is very common, uh, or they're trying more and more now to use low pressure uh, ground equipment. All depends on the time of year and what is going to be the least impactful to the environment. So um, those are the two options, uh, and in any event, uh, those activities would be covered under this uh, under this work, uh, typical as a maintenance type project, um, and uh, there'll be no permanent filling uh, for either the uh, shield wire wire installation or the pole installation um, and construction associated with the project. So, if there's any questions or clarifications I can make. Do you plan on doing it this summer? No, I believe this is going to happen next year, actually. Oh, next year? Yeah, it's just, it's a... 2019? 2019, 2019 um, and I'm not exactly sure what season, but if um, if it's possible to do it in the drier, or the, either frozen or in the dry season, then that, that's how they'll do it. That's with the building, too? What's that? That's with the building, too. Yes. Yeah, the, the, the installation of the poles, correct. The installation of the poles in the building. I think it's all poles, isn't it? Yeah, it's all. No, there's no. A steel building. No, that's not under this project. This this is only installation of shield wire. Okay, I on the poles. I got misled by another party in town that you were. No, there's no building associated okay. with this. Thank you. Um. So it's not going to be until next year. I had a question. I just forgot it. I'll come back. Come back to me, please. Lisa? Jen? Nope. Amy, any comments on that? No, I mean, I, I think it's pretty straightforward. Uh, maintenance project and the uh, utility has BMPs in place 
to protect the wetlands and make sure that there's little impact. So I would say that a negative uh, explanation would be fine. Um, so is this going to help us from having less power outages? Well, it's, it's maintenance, so it's certainly what the company has to do to maintain uh, the best operation of the lines. Uh, I, I don't know about power outages. I can't really speak to that. They uh, happen. Yeah. So is, are all those poles, all the wooden poles, getting replaced along that line? or just No, just the two that are mentioned in the, in the filing, and the others are, are, are staying, but they'll just have the shield wire that, co that connects them uh, replaced. Okay. Um, so if, if this were a negative three, do, do they notify the commission before you start? I mean, it's such a, I realize you want to permit it a ways out so you have things in place. It's yeah. just something that seems like at some point just sort of yeah. goes under the radar. Um, yeah, I, I, th I think it would be possible for us to, to, that, to notify. It's just um, something, you know, say, hey, we've, we're finally going to start this project yeah. or, or whatever. Um, Give a call to the office. Okay. Would be helpful. In case somebody complains about you. Say, oh, Any yeah, recollection of what no, you're going to ask? Not a thing. <laughs> Anybody in the audience? I make a motion for a negative three. Second. All in favor? Aye. Great. Great. Thank Thanks you very much. much. We're right on. So. Yeah, next. 23 sunset notice of intent um, today we received a written uh, request uh, I'm sorry consider it as a request to withdraw without prejudice the NOI application of Paul Norton for 23 sunset road that does not require a vote it's a done deal there's no discussion um, it's just been withdrawn is that right Amy I got it that's it yep. moving, on. moving on okay um, Jacob Hatch Condo Scanzillo, they requested a continuance till 618. I make a motion to continue Jacob Hatch 10 New Driftway to 618 at 620. Second. Yep. Uh, at this point, can we take certificate of compliance out of order? Oh, okay. Sure. Do you want to just finish up uh, this continuance? Yeah, well, you just did, didn't you? No. We didn't vote. Can vote in a second. We got to vote. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Now. <laughs> All right. So I'm sorry. What did you want to do? Uh, insert a request for certificate of compliance, okay. which needs some discussion. Sure. Okay. Um, this is a request for uh, South River uh, condos, and it was. This is based on the work on the ramp. This is only on the ramp, nothing else. And so uh, Mike Salamando sent in the request and I thought there'd be a couple of things he could explain in person on the ad bill. There was a, uh, was a minor deviation in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the plan as to what was approved by the board. Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Yeah, and we could bring these up. Sure. Okay, so this is the reference plan here. It's kind of a tough scale to see. And then the as built, it's tough to tell with that without the sketch. So this is the sketch of all the different pieces that were in there. And then But if I could point out the difference, we call for uh, five two foot uh, two foot wide planks. Okay. And we what I did was we did two uh, a six foot and a ten foot plank covers 10 feet they both cover 10 feet and they, as we extended the ramp and that that's the only difference in the that was approved instead of doing instead of, instead of doing uh, five two footers we did a six and a, uh, and a four footer where is it extended Mike it extends the ramp further down down into the water into the water so so, so it makes up for a longer longer time no I, I understand I just didn't see it yeah so yeah. they can pour they can pour a ramp but then when they get down so that they're in the water yeah I know. the only way to do it is use some precast planks exactly. and put them at the end 
We went back, uh, we went out there, Richard, and, and it wasn't, we couldn't see it, so we went out at dead low, and at the very end there's a lip to prevent the tires from mm -hmm. going up, and that was all in there. So there were two new sections at the end. Is but that the ram? On the left face on the river. Yeah. 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 So Lisa and I were down there, and okay. the first time we didn't, we couldn't see it. No, I couldn't. And it was see covered it with mud. Down. These were the pictures after the storm, and then recently we went down there, and it's the last two sections are clean, and there is a a little lip at the end that tells you that you've hit the end of the ramp. Who owns, who owns the ramp? Whose property is it's, that? It's very, it's very clouded. Uh, as you know, in, 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 in those on those roads, on those spur roads that come off of Central. Okay, when when you when you want to use it, it's open to the public. When you want to plow it, it's private, and the homeowners have to do it. It's the people that live on the road have the uh, have the uh, the ability. But there's to no it. public parking there, is that right? That's correct. There's so fire lanes. So you can lanes. unload your boat. Correct. And you've got to go find another spot correct. to park your Most trailer. of the neighborhood uh, from Hummerock. Absolutely true. Uh, that's who uses that ramp. It's. And, and you can go to the uh, the public parking lot, which is is not that far away. The beach parking the, the lot. Beach parking lot. Okay. And, and you can put the, you can you can leave it there. there. But you can't but you, you, you can't, can't stay there, there unless you have a, a permit. Beach well, you have right. to be a resident. So you have to have a, a, a beach sticker. No, you actually don't. You, you can get a sticker without sure. being a resident. Well, that's true. I'm sorry. Yeah, you have to have a sticker, which right. is either a resident or non-resident. Right. 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 Most people take it and, and then walk back. It's, yeah, because I've had friends that have That's used that. They well, they did the kayaks. They dropped off the kayaks, went in the park. Yeah, because they do had that. never done the South River, and they live in Sitcher proper. So, but a lot of boats are used that way. Yeah. Down there. and then after a while, you it goes so far at dead low, you can't. It needs to be dredged. That whole area needs to be dredged. Are you going to do that? <laughs> I was going to do that, but I, I, I lost that. <laughs> Yeah, but even if it's dredged, it's not going to it's not going to impact different su different subject. At uh, an, an two hours here, from low tide. But what we're here for is the certificate of compliance, right? right? The other part of this, Frank, is that um, in the CLE report, they are the ones who are peer engineers of Jack Cannon. Right. And in theirs, they call for signage so that people would know there's a public ramp. So it's not listed in the order, but this report is listed as one of the required reports in the order. So okay. on here, so Mike and I were just going through it. He didn't see this, so the piece that's missing is signage. And they talk about two different things should be in the signage. One, that it's a public ramp, and the other thing is that, it, you know, there could be danger at low tide, so beware and be careful. So that would be... I'll, so put, the, I'll put the sign Would that go on Central Ave? That's what we were talking about. It's we, up to the commission. I really Where does yeah. the commission want me to put it? Yeah. I don't think it's Central Ave. I, so I, I would think on the corner of Webster Street, yeah. left-hand side yeah. with an arrow pointing. You know, so here. facing, it would be facing people headed north. Yeah. Okay. I know yeah. what you mean. Okay. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Just, if, here's, the, here's the road right here. So this is Webster, Webster Street. Right. This Central. is Central. And people, 99% of the people come this way. So you would have the sign facing towards them. But can he put that here? I would think so. Well, it's okay. bordering the property that he's talking about. But you'd also, in addition to that sign, that just directs you down Webster Street. But it would say public there, ramp. Then you need another, another one. I agree. An, another sign for, for people to know where to go. And the caution yeah. part about yes. being careful uh, in the yes. ramp. You know, and yes. uh, I mean, when this, this all originated, it, the public benefit wasn't limited to this. It was supposed to be slips. And well, he got rid of that a long time. That's true. You know, so that, so, that was no void. So I just, I mean, let's deal with this issue and then we can talk about couple so the ramp here that's doesn't sit parallel with Webster yeah, it, Street. it actually does Frank it actually yeah. does it's it's a straight shot down the ramp yeah it is well it's, it's actually a little of an angle yeah, yeah. It, it, you know it's on an angle and it actually yeah. on this yeah. side of the road on the, on, the, on the condo development side of the road it splits it, it between the marina side and there it goes it, it does it, it goes right down the middle and it's okay uh, it, it, so it um, and it, uh, so just when I backed the boat in, I didn't realize the, uh, I was going at an angle. Is, uh, oh. is the, uh, the, the the marina, is and this side is the condo. Yeah. This okay. side is the condo. But everybody on that street 
Webster Street has the access right. and probability. But we, when we did this here, we opened that whole, our whole access to all the public can walk through, and we have we have stairs going up over the docks. You know. So is this a private home or is this yes. part of the condos? No, oh, it's, it's a, a private, private home. home. So the condos are over here. No, no the condos over, over here. here. All right. On this side, it's all up here. It's an L. So can that, if that, as long as that sign can be put on public property. There's, a, there's part of that. You Couldn't it be it put right on the Webster Street sign? Isn't there a Webster Street sign there? I know there is on the other side, but there I think there the is. The side. Side. I, I, no, I don't think it's on this side, to be mm. truthful. So it might, I, I guess my point is that the, you can't be putting on someone's right. property. So it's got to wind up on the town layout. Or, the town way. Yeah. So if it can be here or whatever, it's just got to be, you can't be putting it on this person's property. Who is close to the asphalt? Well, the first couple of feet back right. from the street yeah, is. Yeah, is town town property. Yeah, usually right. yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I you can kind of see the layout of the road. The, if, if the dotted line is the layout of the road, I, I think there's room. There is room on the side. To put it there. So that's, there is room on and the that's side. where you want to put that That would that work, sign. yeah. Ryan's right up with the with the manholes that are there. Yeah. So, so there is there is part work. of the way that's not paid. So there's going to be signage here, um, and then again, the yeah, signage. I would say that yeah, and Lisa's quite right. It it needs to give the, the warning, caution, the caution there. Sort of yes, stuff. and also making reference to the public bathroom. There's no signage for that either, for people to know. And seeing it's way in over the water. Walking between condos, it doesn't look remotely close to being public. That was separate from the ramp border of conditions, though. I mean, if he's in particular, this particular one, that wouldn't be part of it. That would be another. Did we have to do a CFC for the, all the condos? Yes. We yeah. did, but this was under a, it was a 40B, so um, the off-site building the was part of that? Yep. Yeah, the, the, the offsite was oh, on oh, Stockbridge yes. Road. Yeah. On, South, on yeah. Stockbridge Road. Yeah, yeah. 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 So but this project was a 40 meet. Yes. The condos, yeah. The condos they, were they 40 they required yes. me to. They required me to come up with an affordable. Yes. yes. Um, so, the, so the certificate of compliance for the condominiums was is completed and done? Yes. yes. So then this is certificate of compliance uh, for, for the board. ramp yep. and the dock? Yes. No, the ramp. the ramp and the new piece of the ramp. And not the dock? No. We didn't do the dock. Didn't do the dock. Does the dock but have? There, there were two old orders. One was the dock and a restroom, and one was the condo. Right. So, so was the dock and the and the restroom all completed? The piece that was under our jurisdiction is complete, and um, they were issued a certificate of compliance. The 40B, there's still um, outstanding stuff, and then Chapter 91 is a whole separate thing about access along the water and public access into the restroom, and that falls on the DEP. So, but for this particular one, it was a ramp. So the signage came from this uh, order, this particular this order, order conditions. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Like I said, I'll, I'll put the sign up. I just ordered the we and put it down. Well, it seems like there needs to be at least a couple of si signs. One that says <coughs> it's a public ramp, and the other one. Um, Show where they go to access it. Yeah. And the caution piece be down here seems to make sense. Yes. Yeah, it's worded in here. It was pretty clear. Yeah. Two different things. You we're copy okay. of that now. I will get one before You I need leave. a copy of I that. Need a, I need a copy of that. So you know what you're supposed to do. Right. And then we'll come down and check. Okay. Pat, did anybody check to see about the uh, checking of the bathroom and making sure all those safeties are being done? I mean, that would be something that planning, zoning, and DEP were involved with, I, and I'm not sure with that. Well, I remember we had a hearing about these locating these bathrooms on 
right. on the walkway right. Right. and where it would go. Right. That's right. right. And then it was be part of the conditioning um, was because it was supposed to be public. Right. 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 So is that in a set of orders that we have? It's referenced, but Board of Health set up how the bathrooms are supposed public to be. for the people on, on, on the boat. I don't think it was. <coughs> I don't remember it being. I honestly, don't remember it being open to the public. This was uh, this, for this the whole, public. This was whole public. thing was about public benefit. This is how this all came about. This public benefit. Well, I know that the ramp was supposed to be for the public. And that's why we have right. signage and all that stuff. I don't really remember the bathroom. The, I piece. don't remember the bathroom being that was to be, they and then they made me make it for handicap. Yep. Right. Okay. So then we had to change it again. That's right. What I thought and, yeah. That's the part that I recall the size yeah. and all that the stuff. Size and, and, uh, mm -hmm. But I don't remember it was going to be in, in the in the of course the slips are open to to the public for people to rent. Yep. And. But I don't remember opening the whole thing because we've got, um, I mean, we have a, 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 there's a lot of liability in, in people going in and off that dock, especially when they're at low tide, uh, you know, with the ramps going down at the, at the uh, and we, we carry liability insurance and everything, but I. My um, recollection was we have, okay. it was for the Boaters. docks, the bathrooms, that end of the public, that the people on the coming in with their boats needed a bathroom. That's my recollection. Yeah. It wasn't for somebody walking off the street right. to go use. I mean, they could, I guess. So I, I don't think somebody's going to stop but it, them. But, but it's, it's not part of the CFC for this no. piece no, anyway. No, it is not. All right. It isn't. And then, just clarify, more of a clarification. So this ramp is going in a public way. So does this is this something that eventually the town maintains, or is this being maintained by the? No, this is main, being maintained by, by us and by the, uh, mostly by the by the people who use it the most is is the dock people here. Okay. In the piece that you just added, that whole piece of concrete, I think that was entirely on the other side. Of yes. The, although it wasn't split right down the middle so that someone else had to be one of the owners. Okay. Right. The way it shifted, the work was okay. all done. Because in the beginning, when he did the right. notice, he didn't have to get another I didn't have to owner. Either. See that line, that, that dotted line is the center of the way. Got it. And that's, like I said, it's very ambiguous as to how these things are on those old streets. Yep. Um, so if it breaks, we go to you to fix it. Well, a new one. I don't see how it's going to be I'm an issue for that. Sure. I don't see how it's going to be an issue for the commission, anyways. No, I don't either. But you were asking. As long as we, all the pieces are in place that were agreed to when when it was built. Mm -hmm. So, and you're you're comfortable with the remaining pieces, the signage. Yep. And yeah, everything. And I mean, I've seen a bunch of emails fly back and forth on right, this. So. Right. Well, part of it was I, I on this on this piece here. That if there were questions on the, you know, the drawings for the concrete and all that, that was the thing I, I thought the commission might want to see and Mike could explain. But it sounded like it's just a change in size from a five foot to a six foot. I cover the same ten foot length extension. Right. Mm -hmm. I just do it in two pieces instead of five. Okay. And a lot of people didn't see the stop on the end because you know it has to be dead low before you see it. Right. But that stops the wheels of the uh, of, of, of the trailers from falling off the edge. <laughs> yeah. And originally the plan was going to have a side to the ramp, but um, then fisheries or somebody said that that would block the flow of the water yeah. in the sand. Yeah. So get rid of that and let the water flow. Yep. Across. So wait, wait a minute. So so the purpose of this is to stop the wheels of the trailer. Well, at no, the end stop. of it. Okay, so, no, wait a minute. So if, if, if that, that is the case, and somebody's going to, uh, these were planned for a boat to be brought on a trailer, once that boat goes in the water, where does the trailer go? To offshore. Park, Wherever they, they have to go where offside. Do you, where do you tie up the boat when you're removing the trailer? That's not that, his that's problem. Not problem. Use two people. You always use two people. That's Somebody gets in the boat, yeah. you go throw an anchor, and you, you leave it on shore. I mean, I'm just telling you how we do it. Yeah. No, you no, down the harbor, it's not, it's not all his problem. Yeah, and then they take the trailer out. 
you know, they got a couple of guys. One hops in the boat, the other one goes and packs the trail. It's actually a lot of fun to watch people pull it. Oh, it's hysterical. Put in the boat is no. Especially if it's a husband and wife. Yes. <laughs> Putting, put it, put, getting it out is better than getting it in. You want a little free entertainment? You can do it. Yeah. it. It's, it's Pulling it out at the end of the day after a day of boating is way more fun yeah, than putting yeah. it in the morning. Yeah. I'll get like a coffee with this. <coughs> I right. think we need the signs before we get the certificate, though, don't we? What? I say I think. Well, we don't. We don't vote the certificate. No. Amy, we, no, we, we hear it. We, it. We, we okay it. Right. Amy's going to write the certificate. So why don't we get the signage and and, and get it done? Okay. okay. But, 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 so I'm clear. We're yeah, pieces, holding it until the signs are up. The pieces left is the signs. Yep. And we're holding it until the signs are in. Sure. Is that, is that what you guys yep. have discussed? I bet he has them made in the next so couple days. I want to make sure I'm clear. Yep. Get the signs made and then come back and get this. Okay. In and up. Pat, thank you. thank you. Thanks for following up with these. We appreciate it. Um, Martin, 67 Border Street. Hi, Bill Arnberger. I'm here with Pete Martin, uh, Paul Marabito, and some Tish Campbell's with us today. <clears throat> and we received today that I, uh, John Chassier, I think, gave some uh, his review comments and. Go ahead. No, today I'm, I'm just talking out loud. I'll shut up now. Go ahead. No, I, I guess we received them, and, and uh, Paul's standpoint, we looked at these, and there's, we don't see anything in there that Paul can't that can't be conditioned. And uh, if the commission feels the same way, we'd like to, or we'd answer any questions if there were any additional questions. But I think we've covered everything. Um. You feel as though you can answer all Mr. Chessier's. I haven't read it yeah. thoroughly. We've, we've been working back and forth yes. with John through this. Right. You know, he'd ask this question and we'd get him some information yeah. back verbally. Yeah. Um, the last response we saw was last, I think it was, um, it was last week. There was one today. Right. There's actually two, two sets. Okay. And this, this last month, He's got three minor conditions in there. One that we have a detail about where the, the roof leaders are going to come down from the house underneath the open deck areas. Mm -hmm. The other is that um, there would be a condition that the operational maintenance plan would reference inspections uh, for the um, infiltration trench, which we have up in this area here. It, you know, it would be a simple inspection twice a year would report back to the commission. That it's uh, functioning properly. Uh -huh. He's suggesting that be a condition of approval. And also, here is the, um, from the edge of the pavement to the front steps of the driveway, there'll probably be some kind of a hardscape in there. He's he, he's suggesting that there's a condition that it may Pretty have a pervious yeah, type, there's a pervious pavers or something. Yeah. I mean, it, it's a very small area. Uh -huh. But those are the three conditions he's suggesting in his letter that the orders would include. Um, he's also asking that um, there's a tree box that we have for a filter system yeah, I saw it, yeah. at the beginning of the driveway. We have a set of these last revised plans stated May 10th. Uh -huh. There's a tree box right here. And what happens is the water from the driveway comes down, it'll go into the tree box, it, it'll be filtered. And the overflow, if there is any, would go into the ponding area. Oh, the pond, he, yeah. he wants us to do a test bit here to make sure it is deep enough. There should be enough here because this is where the leaching area is in this area here. That's that that went down, I think, eight or nine feet. But we would do a test bit in this area. You know, if we had to move that one way or the other, we have plenty of room to do it. The well, other, want it to work. Yeah. yeah. He's suggesting that we do that prior to construction, which is. You know, which is not a problem. The other thing is that, and after the first review, um, the board granted a waiver from standard two for um, a work relative to a, any increase in the peak rate of runoff because it's going into a tidal area. 
what, what he suggested, and we did request in the last letter to the commission that John suggesting that we cover our basis and ask for a waiver for um, from the from any increase in the a volume of water that would leave the site. Because you really can't have one without the other. Our, our calculations were lopsided in that we didn't have any increase in the peak discharge rate or any increase in volume. But John's suggesting that if you give one, it's kind of implied that you would also be giving the other one, but the commission didn't vote on the second one, which is a waiver from the, uh, uh, any increase in the uh, volume. And John explains that in his letter. Um, what this whole stormwater review came down to was essentially um, looking at how the stormwater is going to be treated on site and as opposed to the, uh, any tidal flows coming in. We obviously can't treat the um, ocean water, but the stormwater, he is, you know, he, he looked at how that was going to be treated under the stormwater bylaw. And that's what, that's what our, our plans essentially address is uh, our treatment of the stormwater. So again, the conditions, there are only three that he suggested. And the other thing is we're asking for the board to also vote on that standard relative to um, the increase in the um, amount of volume uh, running off the site. We don't have any, but we ran the waiver for the peak discharge rate and said we should ask for the one for the volume as well, just to be consistent. Richard? Um, now, when I read over it relatively quickly, I didn't see anything particularly major, and you did mention most everything I saw, except some things that it requires for an, under maintenance that can be also be conditioned. Right, in the operation and maintenance yeah. schedule, he does, yeah, he references the inspections that are maintenance on the trench on the tree box, yeah. which we can have the operation yeah. maintenance. Yeah, that's, I would think they would all be in orders. I, I didn't have a lot of question about them. Lisa? Any questions? Jen? Amy? You know, actually, I, I haven't had an opportunity to review this project since the new information came in, so I don't much, have much to say. Pretty much with Paul. I, I mean, I read it in Richard. Did you read the whole thing? I did. Yeah. And, um, Pretty straightforward. And, and but we did just get it today. Yeah, no, I understand that. I'm just saying, but I don't see anything major jumping out or something that's a big deal. But I would think that um, where we just got it today, um, and I had a chance to read it because I, I work at home and I had a chance to read it, but I think Amy has, a ch has to have a chance to look it over. Make sure there's nothing there. I did speak to John this morning about it. John, John sent a an email yesterday because he was working over the weekend, and we got a copy this morning from Carol. Yeah. That's and when we, we got it. it. And I spoke to him, and, and what I just described to you was pretty much verbatim from our <laughs> discussion on it. Yeah. Um, I just wonder where we go from here. I mean, we're this has been going I, for a while. It has. I, I, but I, I think. Okay. I think. I think. If the agent's comfortable, that's fine. If she needs more time, that's fine too. Because we did just get it today. Oh, if I could just speak. Oh, for you. Can I just clarify? I'm not saying that I need more time. I'm okay. just saying that I haven't had a chance to review John's response which was in response to his first response. So we, since we were here last, there's been actually a couple of reviews that have gone back. Okay. So John provided one. They gave a response package, which you had an opportunity to review. And then this was his response to that Ross's submittal. So, so I think probably what you, what you really need to do is so that's specifically concerning the stormwater. So you need to consider everything relating to the resource areas for the project. <coughs> to make sure that it meets the requirements that you are looking for there um, as far as coastal resources and encroachment on any of your no touch boundaries. Just, you know, you might want to touch base on, on those issues and then look at it in an entirety and um, move forward. So I think we're definitely, in, you know, close. If, if, not, if not there, if you want to condition it, I mean, 
to definitely do that, but um, there does does need to be, I think, the combination of both reviews that you need to consider for developing your special conditions. Okay. Mr. Uh, the only thing I'd say is I very strongly like to close, you know, condition this and close this. And again, I know Amy's doing everything she can under the constraints and the commission is, but this was our fear literally five meetings ago and two and a half months ago is the inability of consultants to respond. And I know it's not fair to you guys. Something comes in the day of the meeting. I know that's very difficult, so I'm not intimating that you've, you have the commission and Amy's done every single thing, but needless to say, the Martins are officially homeless now, and <laughs> they need this permit to begin so Peter can get back in the house. Well, we have, you know, this has been an unfortunate project in the timing, and it started out this winter with two cancellations of meetings. So it hasn't helped. No, I understand. No, no, I understand. And, and but, for, but for two and a half months subsequent to this, and don't get me wrong, everyone here is doing something, but our fear that I've hammered away at in every yeah. single meeting is how do we get out of the death spiral of the consultants not responding in a timely manner. Well, I, and unfortunately, I mean, there's a couple more things than that is that we debated for a long time this whole stormwater piece, which is unfortunate. Um, but we're there. I mean, we're, we've gotten to all these pieces. I've expressed my frustration with this as well. You know, if I was in, in the applicant's shoes or, or the contractor that wants to build it, to be held up for so long is, is, is frustrating. I, I, I'm, th I'm there with you. So what I'm trying to figure out is the most expeditious way to get onto this and at the same time make sure that the concerns of the commission are, are met. Um, it seems to me like we've had plenty of time to look at the resource areas. We got all that from Lucas and we've had plenty of time to look that over. I'm comfortable with it. I mean, I've been on site. I, I see what's there. I know there's some minor changes that happened with the driveway and a few other things and it seems like we're there with that. So what's the, what's the best way at this stage to get this project off the ground? If we, if we vote to close this meeting this evening, we have the pieces from John Cheshire, yeah. and we'll, we agree in principle that those pieces will be part of the orders. So how do we get a set of orders done as, as expeditiously as possible so that the applicant well, can so Frank, if, you, if we close tonight, then there's 21 days they would have their, just like everybody else, they'd sign the order at the June 4th meeting, which is not even two weeks away. So. And if we completed the orders prior to that, can the commission members sign those? In other words, if, if, the, if we agree that this is in, in principle, how this is well. So the thing is, right? Is you're talking that you're going to have special conditions. You may want to discuss the conditions that we put in there as a commission. So you can only do that if we do it at a public hearing. And there is that a would not be a violation of open meeting law to have a discussion through email. But so I mean, we could draft them up, and, and I think you know, like everybody else, that's you guys vote to close, and then you issue the next meeting, which in this case, it's not even two weeks away. So with Memorial Day, you know, we've got nine business days. So I think that that is a um, pretty reasonable time frame. You're not going to get them any quicker because of the holiday. So if we close, we could issue them on the 4th. I mean, either that or you continue and you close an issue at the next meeting. So that way, if you discover that you're missing something that you'd like to see, then you know you have the opportunity to ask for it. If you close, you don't you, you lose that opportunity. So. You see, seems timey, Frank. No, I just, I, I just, this, 
there's a whole bunch of issues that have gone on with this project. Yeah, no. In and on both sides of the court. So right. and we we've, we've made an attempt to get this pulled together as soon as possible or as quickly as yeah. possible. I mean, we're not the consultant and we're not the engineer, but by the same token, um, it seems like it's been knocked around for a while. So it's close. close. Um, I, and but to Amy's point, to close it and then not be there with all these orders, I certainly don't want to get mired in something else. Um, well, Frank, um, if we can step back and look at it, um, what I'd say is that the, uh, before John Cheshire could review anything, he had to know that the environmental uh, resource areas had been uh, uh, correctly established, which they were by Lucas. And then the stormwater was the issue, and we submitted that. John, as you know, has done an extremely thorough review. There's two or three pages of details on there, some of which he's had us change. Those details are the details that would be used to uh, work on that entire site. Um, the only thing left to do is to go out and build a house in the driveway. <coughs> and do the grading and landscaping in accordance with the approved plan, which was reviewed by John. Um, John. John did spend quite a bit of time on the, on the stormwater. Mm -hmm. It was a very thorough review. Um, we don't have anything else to add at this time. Um, I think given all the details on the plan and all the information you have on, in your files, that this is, at this point, uh, I feel it's a straightforward project. And, then, and that the orders could be you know, drawn up accordingly. Because John, John does, you know, mentioned me. John spells out very clearly in his report, you know, what you could have yeah, yeah. Can I uh, address you, Frank? Is the concern, I'm just trying to, trying to comment, was the concern that is between now and the 4th, you may need some additional information that you don't have now, and you're concerned that you might not be able to issue the orders that the commission wants to order. Is, right. that, the, is that the concern? Yeah. All right. If, if we can agree, at, as Amy suggested, can we work on the orders, see the orders, and with an abundance of caution, leave them open with the idea that we will, at the, at the next meeting, we will close it, vote it, sign it. And then we won't lose any time from, from that standpoint. If, if that's something the commission is an agreement on, you know, we'll accede to the, your wishes. It leaves it open. I, I would, I, I think that's being reasonable, Bill. I guess I have one more question. I just know, thinking about it, just if this were my project and I mm -hmm. wanted to move forward, yeah. is there any way that the commission, the first phase in this job would be to demolish the existing house right. and get rolling on some of those pieces? And I'm just wondering if the commission has the ability to allow the, the applicant to go ahead with his, his erosion control and and some of that and mobilize to start to demolish this house. I mean, I, time's of the essence and, and, and you've sold your house or whatever you're, wherever you were living. Um, so um, I'm just thinking outside. Well, yeah, so I mean, if, if, if the goal is to knock the house down and there's no work in the ground, so you put a dumpster out there or however you knock the house down so there's no digging in the ground, you know, well, even, even that, I mean, you know, if there's no work Earth below work. the ground, right. then you could demo the house per se. Although I'm pretty sure that, that I've seen this before and contractors don't usually like to per, uh, pursue a project that way because of the cost of the building permit is split up and so I think it's more expensive to do it that way but I mean I'm not sure um, and I'm not sure if that's a building inspector yeah. Yeah. commissioner yeah. thing is whether you would allow for the tear me down if well, we've what gotten, other impacts yeah. it would have we've gotten demolition permits before I, I guess if you're willing to sign off partially I mean the process is that there's an application piece from the building department and everybody's got to sign off and we're not going to sign off until there's an order of conditions. Right. No. So, so, but, so but I can sign off as long as they're not 
not they're not disturbing the ground. Right. Correct. I'm just wondering if there's not a piece of this trees, that would. Well, know, that put, put it this way. I was just talking with Peter. Is if we could start doing all the erosion control and things along those lines, at least that's a mm -hmm. start to get going. Yep. Yeah. And, and, and as long as you're not excavating for a new foundation or removing the old foundation, but oftentimes just getting rid of the building and getting some stuff moving is, is reasonable. But I wouldn't do any clearing of any trees or anything that are, are, are in the buffer or anything like that until yeah. you have a set of orders. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, you have to decide if you're going to start to work within your appeal period. Um, it right. seems like it's been a pretty but, contentious right. project. So. But, but in other words, are we, are we all in agreement that we can actually vote and sign them next week so next so the following day we as can As long as we come to, if there's, I, I can't see that, from my review of the letter and Amy's, I honestly, Bill, would, would see that we could do that. Okay. Right. What, what I think it comes down to is your evaluation of whether the project is going to meet the requirements of the bylaw and the act. So you're going to look at the limit of the project and make sure it doesn't encroach into your different areas, or if there is, that you're getting appropriate But hopefully we've already done that. The same I mean, thing that you do I for any project. So you want to just give that a quick, because you're right, Tom Liddy, he reviewed the resource areas, and he confirmed that he agrees with what they put on so, the plan. So I think we're all so there. Just, yeah. This is a matter of dotting the I's, crossing the T's, yeah. and having the orders done. Make sure I'm there's no that. fire yep. pits in the marsh, you know, that type of thing, you know. Well, I think we got that one. So. I think I'd be good with that. Um, so we'll continue to June 4th. And, and I think it's we'll fair say to say that if you want to start to get your erosion control and that sort of thing uh, on the move, and if you decide it's worth your while to raise to demolish the that, then we can, the commission or Amy can sign a partial on that building permit application. Okay. We do have a motion, though, don't we? Yeah. Do I yeah. like it? No, well, so I'm, I'm gonna just waiting for Frank to finish speaking. Anybody in the audience want to speak to this one? Mr. DeLisi was ready to. No, yeah. I don't know. I make a motion to continue 67 Border Street to June 4th at 620. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Good luck. Everybody Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Well, we don't have to lose Brothers. That was a good idea. Hadley and Tilden. All right. I don't know if that's a whole olive branch, but there was a couple of leaves on there at any rate. It's good stuff. Go on. Oh, Scott, pull it, pull it on the chair around the corner there. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Good evening, Frank. Bill Arberg, I'm here with Jeff DeLisi. I'm also here with Toll Brothers with Dave Buckley, Scott Michelli, and Mark Manganello. One of the things, just since the last meeting, the actually the final stormwater permit and, uh, and uh, planning board decision. I'm just giving Carol a copy of that in case. In case. I think Amy, did, did you already get a copy? Oh, okay. All right. So you don't need it. But at any rate, since since the last Is meeting, there space under the door between the. Planning department and the building department. No, they oh. officially walked it in, and Karen gave us a copy. <laughs> had a bow on it. A bow? So it did, yeah. yeah. Lots yeah. of chocolate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, since, since the last time we were here, uh, Amy and Carol were kind enough. We went back and forth per our last meeting, yeah. implemented the changes from a la language standpoint. And I think what has come today is that everything which we have today, and I think, Jeff, do you have extra clean, do you guys have clean copies? I, I don't have it with Watching me, but I've clean got it in the computer, but I, you know. I've looked at it. Yeah, but at any rate, every single thing that's on here, uh, language from Amy's standpoint, we're in agreement with everything, other there's only one item which we want to discuss. What? Number 50. Jeff. <laughs> and number 50. And what number 50 is, just to, and, and again, this is a synopsis, Amy, just correct, correct me wrong. The last time we were here, there was a discussion of the commission saying that you wanted a separate surety bond for the replication work. Right. Okay? What Mark Manganello did is he went out and priced it and whatever, and he submitted something that he felt it was $65,000. 
and there's some been back and forth with uh, thought process along those lines. One of the things that basically, and just to explain the backdrop of this, the backdrop being is that Toll Brothers is mobilized with the issuance of special permit and stormwater. They're ready to go. What our pressure point here is the appeal period. The planning board appeal period is going to be over in 14 days. The problem is, is under Situate's local bylaw, there's a 60-day appeal period. And we can't start construction. So right now, we're backed up against the end of July. There's a whole bunch of construction things who are about to lose the season, whether it's stabilization, base course, and all of that. So th that's why, in other words, we very much like, and this is why we kind of measured twice and cut once. And, and what I'm saying is we just went right to $120,000 surety bond, which is almost double what we estimate it to be. For the simple fact is, in it's and again not to reiterate, and I'm not introducing any new information. Is you folks issue the certificates of compliance anyhow? So in other words, in in our initial thing last month, we were trying to talk about why you didn't need it, whatever. We've acceded to this, and we've basically almost doubled what the amount of that is just for the sake of closing this, voting this, signing this, so that we can get the appeal period going, so that we're not going to have stabilization problems come November. So are you telling me in the board that you put the 120 figure in? We put that in okay. as no, a yeah, I we, thought you, you were arguing about no, it. No, 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 no. We just we just went to that, which yeah. in a in a large amount of cost to have the commission be come in other words to this, because in other words we understand the reason for the commission wanting this separate. Right. We understand there's been discussions. You also understand that we're going to be filing a multi-million dollar surety bond in addition to this. But the difference between the planning board and you folks, you guys have the ability, we don't get certificates of compliance unless this is the way that yourself, your agent, and your consulting engineer say. So I think that that is kind of the sole discussion point. What I wanted to hear from the commission and from Amy is we just went right to 120,000. We didn't say 107, I mean 70, 75, or anything like that. We just put it out there so the discussion's done on that and we'll do it, even though it's in excess of what we probably think is necessary. Okay. I'd much rather be older than under Understood. Understood. You know? No, no, we're, we're saying that we're fine with it, Penny. That's all. Me, personally, I'm okay. Richard? Richard. Um, I don't know of anything else. I, 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 I thought we covered it last time pretty well. Are you okay with the 120? Oh, absolutely. I, I think it's a great improvement. Lisa? The, the money speaks for itself. That's fine. My only concern is the fact that just the satisfaction completion of replication plantings, there's no guarantee that they're going to survive and normally uh, have a time period for them to get established and make sure they're going to. Sure, but, but what happens is when you issue a partial certificate of compliance, those are the conditions you put in the partial certificate of compliance to the effect of your replication plannings. We're not signing off on that. We're signing off on the locations of buildings one, two, three, four, <coughs> and detention basin one, two, and three. In other words, you don't have to sign off on any replications until you do have the confirmation of what you have. Just like in any <coughs> in, on any. Partial certificates of compliance is always <coughs> condition, continuing conditions to an effect, and also, you know, to the effect of, you know, these things until you get three growing seasons or whatever. But what I'm saying is, you you have that controlled under your certificate of compliance. Okay. That's true. So, um, then just to make sure I understand correctly, is the money going to be released back to you prior to the it's, it's, it's a bond. It's a bond. Okay. It's a bond. Is that going to stay in place? For the two or three year growing season? No, it's going to stay in place until this is planted, which will probably be, well, depending on what the structure, within a year. Yeah. By next summer, at any rate. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? 
Um, yeah, we'll get. I think that's a good valid point. Let's get Jen's <coughs> input and then switch off here. I'm good for now. Okay. Amy? Um, are we in agreement that this is the only item that. Yes. Okay. Yes, we are in agreement. I, I, I think my position, which I've made pretty clear, is that the number should be subject to validation by uh, your consulting engineer. We did get email correspondence from them um, about that, which I forwarded to you. Um, you know, but, but I think they're, I mean, actually, I, I'm no specialist, so I don't know, but I, I think that, as I explained, they've come up more than double from their original um, offer of 60,000, so I think we're definitely in the ballpark. Um, and as far as uh, protection for if the project went south, if they're saying that we, they would be required or they, but what if they do not exist anymore? So I guess my concern is if, if the entity who's permitting the project goes you know, away, you're still left with in assuring that the replication stays for three years. So if you keep money in the town of Situate's bank account, you can make sure that that money goes to um, succession of right. the plants. So that's why I'd be hesitant about giving back, you know, after they get implanted the full amount. So that, that wording, I think we're still maybe a little bit at odds with, but other than that, I'm in agreement that we're very close. Then how about, because we want to put this to bed badly, yes. is how about we say uh, these funds should return, uh, just say, we'll say 75% of these funds should be returned to the applicant with several completion, blah, blah, blah. 25% shall be retained, Jeff, do you have the prior language, until completion of free growing season. So it's, it's not money going back to you because it's a bond. So it's right. keep keeping a bond in effect right. for, yeah, the, yeah. for the time that um, right. it was. Well, there's still an option for them to give us a check. We're not, yeah, we're we're not, not marrying them to a bond. Yeah, I don't think that's going yeah, to happen. Yeah. Uh, well, but, well, maybe they want to end the bond and just give us a check for the 25% after. They could have you know the know what what option mean? to so do we, They could have the option to do that. We can be flexible with that. So, so I was concerned as well when I saw the, uh, I'm sure Mark's a reasonable guy, but it was a pretty short list of things with just a couple of numbers. It would look like one of my estimates. Um, <laughs> but, oh boy. But it wasn't oh written boy. on a napkin. But yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> but, but to be truthful, it seemed to me like a fairly low number and it raised concerns to me that we were getting enough <coughs> Replication for what we're doing. When I looked at that amount of money and said, "Geez, that's a pretty big area," are, are we going to get the replication that we anticipated getting for the work? Is is the flag that came up in my mind when I looked at that? Mm -hmm. And so I know everything's shown on a plan, and, and and we know what it's we anticipated looking like. You know what it's looking like. You're hopeful to do it for X number of dollars. Uh, whether that can happen, and it's the commission's responsibility to make sure that it does happen. And to Amy's point, you know, let's hope that this economy is good and that you guys move forward and have a successful project and everything closes out like it would hope. But there's been situations where that hasn't happened, and then everything's torn up. And you know, I can think of um, you know the shipyard in Hingham that sat like decimated for years when everybody tried to get their ducks in a row. So we want to be sure that, that you guys get started and that things can get done. And if the projects don't get built, that's not really a problem, but that the wetlands are restored and that everything gets back to in place that way. So, you know, Amy's one point that she didn't have a, a feedback from <coughs> Wesley Witten right. to the exact amount. I'm, I'm inclined to think that doubling the amount, essentially doubling the amount gives us a reasonable amount of money in for what has to be done there. In in looking at the work yeah. and thinking about those costs, I'm I'm on board with that. And then the second piece is to be sure that not only do you plant it, but that it actually grows. 
and and maybe there's some function of how we get to that point um, by uh, attrition with with the bond. I know that you say that you know we can't do anything until the CFC has been done, but the fact right. is we're gonna can, can, we're gonna probably release partial CFCs as you do the project. You're gonna have stuff that you're gonna want to sell. You're gonna ask us for that. You're not gonna be done with everything. We're gonna have to work together to get to that point. So we want the surety of that. You have asked that it not be cash, that it be in a yeah. function in, in a bond. So, so, so wait, I get your language right. Okay. All right. So the uh, number fifty as written. Okay, and then uh, that says where it says the town of Situate. Uh, then the town of Situate collector will hold the bond or check, and just say and. 75% we'll add the language and 75% we can email that and you can print this right now if you want and 75% of these funds or security shall be returned to the applicant upon satisfactory completion of replication planning that is confirmed by the town's consulting engineers new language and the remainder will be released at the end of the third season of growth as confirmed by the town's consulting engineers so we'd be holding essentially thirty thousand dollars to the end of the uh, three years. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's easy math. Yeah. Um, thirty thirty. Oh, that's <laughs> four times thirty. <laughs> no, what I'm saying, I'm just. <laughs> I didn't bring my abacus. <laughs> no, I'm making fun of him, not you, Bill. I'm making fun of him. <laughs> and you're all laughing at me. Oh, that's okay. Life's a joy. <laughs> I can, can we do that? I, I'm pretty comfortable with that. I'm good. Well, I think it sounds good because you're not going to have a hundred percent failure. And I think there. No, I mean unless no. some somebody and we still poison. And but. to that point, we still have the ability to withhold the CFC. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> and this I, is I'm a phase that's going to get done fairly soon. I think that's reasonable. I think we're there. Hallelujah. Sure. So, th so then, as far as issuing goes, you guys. So, we haven't closed yet, right? No. Okay. So we, you could make a motion to close. Yep. With the conditions that you have in front, and then issuing, we 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 don't have it ready to go for them to pick up tomorrow. So we it needs a little office work, but we could probably have it ready by the end of the week. So, um, you, know you guys want to agree to come in and sign it? I'll come. By the end of the week, we could probably get do that, or otherwise we would issue it at the next meeting, which would be June 4th. Let's, Let's no. issue it as quick okay. as we can. I do, I do have a quick question. So, shouldn't we just, we'll hold the bond and eliminate the or check, so we... Well, no, if they decide they have the choice. they want to put a check in, they want to give say the, the, the reason why you have the check is that's what it says in the, in the DE yeah. regulations. Yeah. That, that's just a term of art. The, the flexibility to do either okay. or. Yeah. Yeah. So you right right now that language is just read to you. Yeah. Amy has it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, the 54 conditions as set yeah. are all set. The only, the only question I'd ask is subject to your review. In other words, can you guys sign the I mean, sign the signature page so that Amy can run and attach the conditions? Well, well we, just, we, we just, we just, yeah, we don't, we're not ready for that bill. We just talked about that, but, but we can try to get out to you by the end of the week. Can we, okay, just, well, can we say that? Just, we well, just so I understand, everyone's in agreement on all the conditions, correct? Yes. 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 Yeah. So what is it that we're, that we're not? Satisfied? We don't physically have the, the piece of paper to sign here tonight. What, why don't we say that we can, the commission members, can I'm everybody get in, in here by I, Wednesday? Uh, yeah. I mean, we can be called, well, and you know, we've come in. We've come, we've in, come in all the time. Times, but, so but, but, but Amy can't get it done by Wednesday, so it's going to have to be um, got booked out. So not not going on vacation. I actually have stuff that I'm committed to. But close the business Thursday or, or Friday morning. I think it gives them time to pick it up. You know. If I know that I need to get over here, I can get over here. Do we have a quorum for this as well? Yes, we do. Um, we got four. Okay. Yes. 
Yeah, so, and you can vote to close an issue. It just means they're not going to have the physical piece of paper until we button it up in the office. So. All right. So just call, call us when it's done and we'll come in and get it signed, seeing we have nothing to sign right now. Yeah. I make a motion. Can I? Sure. To close. It, anybody? It's funny, we went from having a room full of people in the safety building. Nobody cares. Everyone's happy, happy. I don't know about that. <laughs> Go ahead. Did you make your motion? Yeah. Oh, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Now you're going to vote to approve, right? The orders. I make a motion. We accept the orders as written with the add on tonight. Right. On the number 50. Number 50. Number, number 50. 50. Right. That we will be keeping 25% until the mm -hmm. three year growing season. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. And, and we will make best efforts to get it to you as, as soon as possible. So. Okay, appreciate it. Th hey, I'd like to, th th you know, on behalf of the Toll Brothers and ourselves, I'd really like to thank the Commission for all the hard work and Amy and Carol. I know this has been kind of an unprecedented development in town, and I, I, think, I think you folks will be proud as what transpires here. Well, we appreciate, I mean, I think from the early onset, when we, even when we did the ANRAD, the discussion was what the Commission would like to see in the project. And I think that <coughs> the applicant has worked to do that. And so that makes a lot of sense. I know there's a lot of things that are going to go on, and there's certainly a lot of issues still to when you build something like this. But oh, we'll be seeing you again. Yeah. Oh, we'll be out there to <laughs> see you. And we'll be out, yeah, yeah. We have no intention you of leaving you alone. Penny <laughs> wants to go on the turtle sweep. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, Wait a second, you're not one of those, you're not one of those people who, who eat that kind of soup, are you? Huh? No. I haven't had that in a long Where time. Where was the snapping turtle? Right outside. outside. This stairwell out here. Yeah. So there's a video of Pat catching a snapping turtle right here. Yeah. Right over there. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't think Pat ought to be walking around with live turtles. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so we put, put it back <laughs> in the front of the wrong room message. and it came right out again. So I took him across the street. I don't want to. I thought he took him up to Hathaway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 All right, thank you. Thank Have you a good night. Much. All right, thank He's you. You're not welcome. We will see you. Um, is it Nielsen? 127 in final Nelson. 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 They said it could like us in here. I'll uh, continue. So we're just yeah. going to open and continue? Yeah. Oh, we have the green cards? No, they didn't All right, they're off. dropping the green cards off, but. One so technically we can't open, but we can. We can't open, we can't do anything without green cards. No green cards. No nothing. Paper, please. Well, I think we've done it before. Are you sure he has them? I called Greg, and he said we have somebody drop them off. And they're not in our, maybe they're in our box. I can't imagine Greg not having them. No, no, I agree. Um, I don't have a problem. So, they did request a continuance to the June 4th. Is that what it was? It right. doesn't say on here. It just says continue. Yeah. So, I mean, either way, we're, we're not discussing the project. All right. And if, if they don't have them, then they can start from square one. Then they have to re notify. Right. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. All right. So, so on, on May 21st, yeah. 2018, 6 30 p.m., the Town Hall Central Conservation Commission. We'll hold a wetlands hearing under Section 131, Section 40, Massachusetts General Laws, and Section 30700, Town of Situa Code of Bylaws, regarding the application of Stacy Nielsen to repair a septic system on property located at 27 and Vinyl Road, situated. If others and other interested parties are invited to attend. I make a motion to continue Nelson 127 and Vinyl to June 6th. June I mean, 4th. June 4th at 6.20. Second. Okay. Um, Amy, all in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> Amy, do you know if this application includes anything beyond the septic system? No, I don't know that. No, I, I don't know. The application is, it's a notice of intent for a septic repair. And nothing else? 
That's all. That, yeah, I haven't looked at it yet. Okay. I left mine at home. Yeah, they, they continued pretty much right out of the gate. I understand that, yeah. but I guess my concern would be that probably this whole property's... Um, well, it, yeah, I mean, it's a tough area of, of town. Right. But but no, it's a septic repair. That's what the notice is for. Okay, but, yep. but if they intend to do other work, I think the applicant should know if they intend to do other work on this, it needs to be... Included part of, as part of the notice. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Because I think the house is is in jurisdiction as well as the septic system. Sure. So, so I can mention that to the engineer um, to see if there's anything else that they make sure it's clear to them that they should add. Whatever. Anything. Other. Yeah. Anything. Sure. Makes sense to me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Did these guys have a reason for? Being I think there? they're here for that. And they didn't know what was going to happen. I'm sure you're you're here for Ann Vinyl Road. Correct. And you, your names? My name's Paul Mendez. I'm Steve Coombs. Hi, Frank. Hi. How you doing? I think I remember you from 40 years. Ago. Sure. <laughs> um, so so let me just. So you got your notice that? Yeah, from more Central. We got a couple, but this one didn't have the date. This one said okay. um, May 30th. Yeah. But it's been around. Hold on. This is a cut that's the conservation one, I believe, right? Yep. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, the point. so that we, you might have got one from the Board of Health and one... Board of Health, that's right. right. So, so just so you understand, so the applicant wasn't prepared to, to present anything tonight. So okay. we really can't, we can't have open discussion on this project without the applicant okay. being here. So what we're, we did is we opened it because they requested it. And at a public meeting, we, we announced that we're going to take this up at the next meeting. So what was the date on that? June, June 4th. 4th. So June 4th at 620, hopefully the applicant will be here and there'll be discussion. Now what about this one? This one says Board of Health on May 30th. So that's, that's a separate, separate? Yeah, the Board separate. of Health, typically if the, if the septic system needs waivers, or, or things that are outside a normal yeah. septic system, the Board of Health will hold a public meeting to discuss that. So if you have concerns about the septic system and, and what it might impact or whatever, you certainly want to attend the Board of Health meeting to find out or check with the Board of Health on the septic piece. We're going to deal with the wetlands piece. On June 4th. On June 4th. June 4th. Okay. We, we, were told, we, weren't even told, we weren't even told that there was a meeting uh, today. We, we, we didn't get no letters. That was the meeting was for today. I thought you just said you got something from Morse. No, Cynthia. this is from about the board of health or septic. You did from Morse. No, he did you? No. Did you? you I got the, the board of health one. You got the board of health, but you never got the conversation. No, not for this. Right. Uh, uh, well, we'll get to the bottom right. of it. So, so if, yeah. if, if if they, I don't want to know why we didn't get a letter to come in today. Well, so we don't know. we're gonna, gonna find out. I really appreciate it. They don't always. Give really the time and date. They, they don't always. They're not able to give the time and date all the time. They tell the date, but they don't tell the time. They should have. Well, we so no, they the don't. Date. I'm sorry. They don't tell the time and date. They just say there's a meeting coming up. So they don't tell the time and date. No, not for us. They oh. just notify you, and then you can contact well, the. We don't have notification. All right. So we got if to if that. what the applicant supplies us with is a list, he got in a butters list. To notify from the town okay the town says okay everybody within so many feet around that project is going to get notified and then he should have sent you out a letter just like the one that you got from the Board of Health and what he's would as proof of that he's going to give us what we call the green cards which are the piece that comes off of that so see if he doesn't produce those then they can start all over if you didn't get notified properly then so I, my point? Sure. That's the well, case, then we might not even meet I'm June 4th. I'm in Boston, 10 or 12 hours. Yeah, 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 yeah. Paul's giving, I've been in that property 37 years now, but Paul and his aunt. Yeah, yeah. They go back to the 1930s. I've been there since 82. Sure. Um, what is this? Okay. This is the one you were talking about. Notice the Butters Wetland. It says Stacey House, but there's no date. date to be here. There's nothing. It says right. Force Engineering. No, that's oh, so not. And 8721, the phone number. 
Yeah. But there's no date to be here that you just mentioned. Yeah. No, they don't. This tells you the date to be here, the one from the board. Board of right. Health. But no. you did receive something from right, but this tonight's meeting, but it doesn't say. This could have been a 2020. I don't know what date yeah. to be no, here. No, I understand well, what you're saying. This is the one for the wet, for the wetlands. Right. Wetlands protection. The good news is you knew that we were having it. Well, because what? Well, I, I'm, I'm I, going I, I, to I, 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 I get home and I'm wiped out. Yeah, I, yeah. I put flip flops on the company. I took my work boots off. Right? Okay. Uh, so, a, so we're, be, uh, right now it appears that we're going to be on for this. You can do a couple of things. If you guys are contactable by email, if you want to give us your email, you know, if there's a change in something, we can try to let you know. Best news is maybe to call the com the office like the day before and just say. Well, that's what I did today. Call today. Yeah. Call me yeah. The meeting was tonight. And that's right. Why I'm here. And you can do that. Um, two weeks again, from tonight. Two weeks from now, and uh, it's. So it's June fourth. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's two weeks from and tonight. And you guys, I mean, continue. I have again. to tell you, you have to pay attention to it. If if, if you know, that's that's. It is on the website too. If you have a mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that's yeah. why I, I, right. I I called today and they said that we could not Okay. Do something. So we can't. We're not going to discuss any of the merits no, of the no, project or whatever till no. till then. And the commission's it's on our radar screen yep. for the septic, but we also know that there's other issues that have to be addressed as well. And I want to if you guys invite to you guys, yep. you guys will take care of that. Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you guys. Thanks for all the. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah, I don't. I'm not into the. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm driving boats in the ocean and now I'm working on them. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know many meetings. I think I voted. Well, maybe you want to be on the commission. <laughs> no, 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 no. Please. no. <laughs> I love where I live. I want to stay there till '97. All right. I want to be there forever. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Appreciate Thanks. It. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Want to do the orders? <laughs> um, do we? Orders, orders conditions uh, Swan 31 Common Street. I make a motion to accept this written. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Heap 62 Glades. I make a motion to accept this written. Mm. Second. 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 Uh, all all in favor? favor? Yes. Yeah, sorry. Aye. <laughs> Hang on to that one. Yeah, I know. Shlonik, 4 Proscript Lane. I make a motion to accept this written. All second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Fleming, Surfside Road. Make a motion to accept as written. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. An extension for RJB development, 35 Dreamwall Road, two, two years. years. I don't remember that project. I think that's that Susan Phippen's. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, is it one of those houses? Yeah. Okay. I make a motion. RJB must be Robert um, Berwick. Oh, I, I make, oh, is that who's doing it? Um, I make a motion that we extend 35 Dream Off for two years. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No, um, certificates of compliance. We sprung Pat on one of them. Bruno at 248 Central, elevate and add utility enclosure. Anybody remember that? Joe Neck of the Woods. Have you been out there? Are you ready to? Well, I'm. I wasn't going to discuss anything about them. I was just going to recommend. Yeah, well, that's that, all. Then you guys don't even vote, but we, right. we, we are planning on issuing CFCs as follows. So. Bruno Walden Woods. With no work started. Okay, so that's an easy one. Okay. Reynolds, Elm Street. That's for a septic system. But yeah. actually, the, most of these are recent. Yeah. Yep. Except for our Walden Woods. Um, is um the Stenbeck place? Stenbeck yeah, place. but no, I I know, but I don't see it on here. Yeah, number third three. Way down, yeah. Walden Woods lot one, Stenbeck place. Oh yes, I do see it now. No, but otherwise, Richard, why don't you get penny of glass? I was going to say you've got two you pair on already. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. Oh, that's right, I do. <laughs> <laughs> these, these orders are all from pretty recent. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, they're good. Sixteen, yeah. seventeen, yeah. Yeah. they're good. So right. Oceanside Drive is an elevate. Good. Five Jasons Lane was a garage. I thought you wanted to go into detail like Pat did. Oh, well, we did Pat. Well, if there's something thought wrong. that there were things that you guys <laughs> might want to know about. Before. There were, and there were, and they were. We appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. All right. And I think that these I just are didn't pretty want straight to, I didn't want to not give you the same opportunity that we gave Pat. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Okay, we're getting punchy. Let's go. Okay. Oh, yeah.
you such a is there anything guy, any <laughs> chit chat good to be done. is there anything I else we need tonight frank I, i'm pretty good um, Wait, second minutes, she, she motioned to close what? oh minutes i'm sorry I make a motion to accept the minutes of April 11th as written. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you so much. Now for I make day. a motion to adjourn. adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. There we go.